an unlikely duo of a boy and a mythical creature. The Last Guardian is a fantasy adventure game 10 years in the making. From the same studio that brought you Eco and Shadow of the Colossus, The Last Guardian takes you on a new adventure, one of friendship, companionship, and much more. The game has you start off in a dark, mysterious cave. You don't know how you got there, but you wake up confused next to a giant beast. This vicious, man-eating creature has seen tragedy and mayhem. He's muzzled with an iron mass and has spears all over his body. You call him Trico, and through some first hardships, you free him from this prison and remove the spears on his back. This is the start of your friendship, one of best friends, that blossoms as the game progresses. Neither one of you really know why you woke up trapped together, but in combined efforts, the two of you team up to escape this land. In gameplay, you play as a little tattooed boy. You can walk around, shove, climb, and jump to your heart's content. It's your job to help maneuver smaller specific objects that Trico simply has no way of controlling. You activate small switches that open up gates for Trico, and when there's a glass window art that scares him, you're there for him by either breaking them or moving them out of the way. You can't directly control Trico, but you can guide him where to go with calls and movements that he'll reenact. However, much like a new puppy, Trico doesn't always do as you say the first time, and sometimes it'll just take the right location or the right movement for him to do what you need him to do in order to progress a puzzle. Whereas a little boy can tinker with smaller objects, Trico helps you get around larger and taller pieces of land. He'll help you jump from cliff to cliff and maneuver faraway objects. If any army enemies come after you, he'll be there to take over and squash them to save you. You and Trico share a symbiotic relationship at the start of the game, but it only grows more into a friendship as the game progresses and ultimately it deepens when the game finishes and you find out why you two woke up together. A beautiful story and journey that only has you eager to replay it a second time. The Last Guardian is beautiful in both visuals and in music. I personally didn't think the game looked too impressive graphically when viewing trailers for it. I mean the game started development as a PS3 game and it did look like a PS3 game when I saw it in trailers. However, having it here in person right in front of me, the game looks much more stunning in person. The trailers definitely don't do it justice. The environments consisting of plant life, caves, and old architecture is absolutely stunning. But what really stood out to me was the motion and sharpness of the individual blades of grass in the environment, or just the individual feathers on Trico all around his body. Everything just felt so lifelike. The soundtrack, as you'd expect from previous Team Eco games, is marvelously orchestrated. Songs kick in during specific sequences, may it be when an enemy approaches you, or when you take a leap of faith where time just slows down. The music is just absolutely fantastic, and most specifically, the epilogue track is amazing. I definitely recommend anyone watching this review to go listen to that song online once you finish this video. The Last Guardian does have issues though, one being the frame rate. While it's not a constant issue, during specific scenes you'll notice a drop in frames, whether it's during a big explosion or during a cinematic sequence with a lot of enemies. However, the more constant issue is with the camera. Constantly I found the camera struggling to keep up with me, whether I was climbing Trico's bunny or trying to run away from enemies while Trico was fighting them off. It's a little bit annoying when I try to climb onto Trico to reach a certain object or try to solve a problem to progress the game, only to be stopped and have to fight off the camera that's supposed to be helping me. The Last Guardian is a beautiful game that isn't completely clear what the journey is for at the start of the game, but when you reach your destination, you'll be happy you went on the adventure and more eager to replay it once again. This piece of artwork has some blemishes though. Minor frame rate issues and sometimes annoying AI that takes some patience, being the smaller ones, but ultimately the camera system that simply is annoying more often than not. However, by the end of my 10-12 to 12 hour adventure with my pet dog bird thing, I was happy I went on it, and happy to do it all over again. The Last Guardian is something you need to play. It's definitely not perfect, but it's something worth playing. Thank you all so much for watching the review. If you enjoyed it, you can let me know by smashing that like button, and if you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. While you wait for my next video, you can check out my last two videos. I did a review of Final Fantasy XV on the Xbox One and PS4 slash PS4 Pro, and I unboxed the Collector's Edition of The Last Guardian. You can click on my face to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you can click on the Twitter icon to follow me on Twitter for behind the scenes stuff with my YouTube channel, and you can scan the snap code to find me on Snapchat. Thank you all once again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.